Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another video. We are checking out the BB Tubes Tube Saturation plugin by Waves. This is a brand new plugin that just came out and we are trying this out for like a voiceover or a podcasting type of thing. So we're gonna see if we can get it to sound like we are speaking through a tube amplifier or tube microphone or tube something or the other, whatever the heck you wanna call it, I don't know. But let's go, let's go start turning this on and off and see if it actually works for a voiceover application or not. All right, so let's go ahead and turn this on. So one thing I notice is I have to turn the sensitivity knob down to about minus six. I need to take the in and out, or the out I should say, and put it down to about minus five decibels. And there's also a wet and dry mix on this thing. And I gotta put that around like 30, 25 to 30%. So it'll just start sounding like straight up crappy distortion on a voiceover if you don't set it just right. So it's a little bit hard to get this thing sounding like a tube amp, but right now I think I kind of got that little bit of a tube breakup sound going. So I think it does work if you get it set up just right, but there's so many Nile Niles and Dobbs. I mean, Dobbs, <laughs> oh my God, there's so many knobs and dials on this thing and switches. It's something you're really gonna have to play with for a while to get it sounding the way you want. So let's go ahead and turn it back off. So this is the way it sounds when you have it turned off. This is the way it sounds when you have it turned off. In just a second, we're gonna turn it back on one more time and then we're gonna start playing with the dials so you can see exactly what's going on with it. So, all right, let's go ahead and turn it back on. So. It is now on, and does that sound like tube breakup to you guys? Let me know in the comments if you like it. If you don't like it, would you use this on your voiceovers? I mean, there's a lot of tube saturation apps out there, and this one actually sounds pretty nice, but like I said, there's a little bit too much going on, and it's very hard to get it set up just right, but I think once you get it, you'll probably like it if you want that tube sound. All right, so let's start playing with the Dobbs and Niles. Again, I, I somehow keep messing that one up, but let's go ahead and start cranking these dobs and dials up and down. So now I'm saying it that way on purpose, but yeah, this is what it does when you start cranking the stuff up. Um, you're probably gonna notice it starts sounding really distorted and kind of crappy. So you gotta be really careful with whatever you're doing with it if you want this thing to sound right. If you do this incorrectly, you can definitely start making your audio sound really bad and nobody's gonna wanna listen to that. But when it comes to any type of audio engineering or anything like that, it does take a lot of work. And if you do something wrong, you're really gonna mess up your sound. But if you do something right, hey, you're gonna get a really awesome sound. And proper audio engineering, even if it's just for like vocals and dialogue can take years or quite a while to really get the hang of. So it's not an easy thing to get really good sound, you know, if you don't really know what you're doing yet. So. Any type of settings you're playing with, any type of audio editing, you just gotta be really careful with it. And you know, well, this thing especially. All right guys, so there we have it. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you use it on your voiceovers or your podcast or your, your uh, voice acting gigs or whatever? I don't know, let me know what you think. I kind of like the app. I think it's around like 20 or $25. This came out on Black Friday on 2022. So it was on some uh, crazy good sales at that time. I don't know if it's still on crazy good sales, but I think normally they're selling it for around like 20 some dollars, which really isn't too bad if you want to get that tube sound and you like what you see here. But I am warning you, it's not an easy one to adjust. It takes quite a bit of playing with before you're really like, hey, I like the way that sounds. So anyways, I think that wraps this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. There's some Amazon links to some cool products and stuff down in the video's description, plus a bunch of other cool stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Lighten it out. Have an awesome day. See ya.